Did you know that you can play most of the popular Android and iOS mobile games on your Windows PC or Mac computers? Well, you can using what's called an Android emulator. There are a handful of good Android emulators out there, but I personally prefer one that is called BlueStacks. I'll quickly show you how to download, install, and configure the BlueStacks emulator, and then I'll show you how to download, install, and run the game from this video's title that you came here to see. And then after all of that, I'll show you some gameplay footage as well so that you can see how good the game runs using BlueStacks. So you'll want to open up a web browser and go to bluestacks.com. Once there, click on the green Download BlueStacks 3N button. And once this page loads, just click the green Download button here. And now I've already downloaded this to my computer, so you can see the file's already there. And it's a pretty big file, about 415 MB. But I'm just going to click Cancel since I've already got it. Downsize this. And you can see the file on my computer here is the EXE standard installation file on Windows. Just double click it and go through the process and then we'll see it here in a minute. So in order to shorten this video, I skipped the installation process since that's just kind of standard. You'll see now you have a BlueStacks desktop icon, so you open that up and it'll take just a minute, especially the first time loading. So we'll skip this and come back in just a minute. So once it has booted, you can see that it's on the Pika World tab, and just want to switch it to My Apps. And you can see that Summoner's War has been installed by default. From time to time, BlueStacks will install a random app on there. That's just this way of being able to keep the software as freeware. You can just ignore it for now. So we'll go over to Settings real quick. You can see under Display and Aspect Ratio, I have it on System Default. I have a 1080p monitor, so I could switch it to that and be a little bit higher quality. I'll leave it on System Default. For DPI, switch it to Low if your game's running choppy, high if not. For Engine, you can do OpenGL or DirectX. I usually do OpenGL, it's the most compatible. You'll want to check Advanced Graphics Mode Beta. For CPU cores, I have eight. I like to set it at four. If you set it too high, sometimes it can lag your computer. So four is pretty good. And I usually like to set it to around three gigs of RAM, so around 3,000 MB should be good. Once that's done, just hit restart now and wait for a minute and it'll restart and we'll see it in just a sec. All right, so once it is restarted, we'll go ahead and maximize the screen real quick and then we'll click on system apps. Now you normally install an app on here with Google Play, but since this is a Japanese version and we're in the US um, Google Play area, we're gonna have to install an APK through the browser. So we'll go, ahead and go ahead and open up the browser and for the URL, you'll wanna go to dbz.space. When that loads, you click menu and you click Japan. Click menu again, and we'll scroll on down to APKs and mods. Now you can get mods where you can uh, basically cheat in the game, but for now we're just gonna click the one, the no mods, nothing to it, and it'll start downloading this APK here. It'll take just a minute. And it's using a file hosting service, and sometimes it can run fast, sometimes it can run slow. But um, you'll want to install this APK once it's done downloading, and I'll show you how that's done in just a sec. But uh, you can use mods, I've used them before in that previous page for like basically where you can't get hurt in the game and you deal massive damage. And you can also control the dice, the number of dice rolls. Well, when the dice rolls come, you either have one, two, or three. All right, I'll go ahead and install this and click done. It says it's done installing, we'll close out the browser app and there it is on the home screen. So you can open up like you would in the other app and it'll start to load. And um, I'm not going to show you the initial configuration for the game, so we'll go ahead and skip ahead and I'll see you in just a sec. Alright, so I've linked up my account. I didn't show that in the video, but you can do that if you already have an account. And if you've never played the global version, this might be kind of difficult because most of the text is in Japanese. But if you're familiar with the global version, it's very easy to play. Um, so I'll be quiet for now and uh, let you watch some gameplay video and then I'll come back and comment at the end.
So as you can see, the game does run really well. It's a blue stack simulator. There's just a few minor little things. Sometimes the frame rate will dip a little bit, but nothing too major. The game does run pretty well overall. That's going to be it for this video, folks. Uh, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing, and good luck setting this up on your own computer. Bye-bye now.